In the last lecture, we learned how a structural directive works behind the scenes. So basically what happens is, for example, here I have some HTML code. In here, if you notice, we are using this ng if directive on this development and this ng if is a structural directive. Now, when we use a structural directive before that, we use an asterisk. So when this HTML will be rendered in the web page and when the Angular will find this asterisk, basically the structural directive, what it does is behind the scenes, it creates this ng template and it wraps the view on which we have used the structural directive within that ng template. So in this example, the view for this ng if is this div. So in the right hand side, you can notice that that div is wrapped within ng template. And then it also moves this ng if directive from the view from the host element to ng template, as you can see here. And there we are not using any asterisk. Instead, we are using this ng if like an attribute directive. So this is what happens behind the scenes when Angular finds an asterisk or you can say a structural directive in your HTML. And this knowledge is very important to understand in order to create a custom structural directive. So let's go ahead and let's create our very first custom structural directive. And we are going to create a structural directive similar to ng if. Let's go to VS Code. And in here, inside this app folder, let me go ahead and let me create a new folder. I'll call it custom directives. And inside this custom directives folder, let's create a new structural directive and I'm going to call this directive if so here I will say if dot directive because here we are creating a directive dot ts okay so we know that a directive is nothing but a TypeScript class so the extension here should be dot ts in here let's go ahead and let's create and export a class okay and in order to make this class a directive we need to decorate it with a directive decorator and in order to use this a directive decorator we need to import it from angular slash go now to this directive decorator we need to pass a metadata object in there we need to specify a selector and for this directive let's say the selector is app if so just like ng if here the selector is app if and it should be an attribute directive so we need to wrap it within square brackets like this okay now angular does not know about this if directive yet so what we need to do is we need to add this if directive we need to declare this if directive in the app modules so here inside the declarations array let's go ahead and let's specify this if directive and in order to use this if directive we need to import it so here let's say import if directive from and let's specify the path of if directive so from the current directory we need to go to custom directories folder and in there we have our if directive all right so this is it let's close this app module.ts file now here we want to create a structural directive and in order to create a structural directive we need two things the first thing which we need is we need to get access to the html element or we can say the view which we want to add or remove from the web page. So if you remember, we use a structural directive to manipulate the DOM. And how do we manipulate the DOM? By adding some DOM element to the web page or by removing some DOM element from the web page. So in order to create a structural directive, first we need access to that DOM element which we want to add or remove from the web page. And then the second thing which we need is the place where we want to add or remove that DOM element. And both of these things, we want Angular to inject to this if directive class. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a constructor. Inside that constructor, we need to specify two parameters. The first parameter, I'm going to call it as template. You can also call it as view or something else. But the type here of this parameter is going to be template ref. And in order to use this template ref, we also need to import it from angular slash go then we also need a second parameter and that second parameter will be the place or you can say the container inside which we want to add the dom element or the container from where we want to remove the dom element here i am going to call this parameter as view container again you can name it anything 
but the type of this view container should be view container ref okay and in order to use this view container ref again we need to import it from angular slash co all right now currently this template and this view container it is basically the parameter for this constructor so it will not be accessible inside this if directive class in order to make it accessible inside this if directive class let's use private keyword in front of them so that behind the scenes a private property with the same name will be created now if i hover over this template ref there you will notice that we have an error and it says it is of generic type and it requires one argument so here we need to specify a type for this template ref for now let's go ahead and let's specify any now what will happen is whenever we will use the selector of this if directive on any dom element for example let's go ahead and let's use this app if directive on this div element so here let's go ahead and let's use this app if directive so when we are using this app if directive for this app if directive this div is the view right so this div will be assigned to this template variable here okay and since it is a structural directive behind the scenes we know that angular is going to wrap this div within ng template so a reference of that ng template will be assigned to this view container i hope it is clear since we are creating a structural directive we are going to use this app if as a structural directive on whichever dom element we are using this structural directive in this case we are using it on this div element it will be the view for that structural directive so that view that host element it will be assigned to this template variable and we know that since it is a structural directive behind the scenes angular is going to wrap this view this div within ng template so this ng template a reference of this ng template will be assigned to this view container now don't get confused with the name here just for simplicity purposes what i will do is instead of calling it template i will simply call it view and instead of calling it view container i'll call it template so that with the name you don't get confused inside this view parameter we are going to receive the view the host on which we are going to use this structural directive and in this template parameter we are going to receive a reference of the ng template which will wrap that view i hope it is clear now what we are going to do is we are going to create an input property for that i am going to use this input decorator and in order to use this input decorator we need to import it from angular slash co and i am going to call this property display and on this property i am going to use a setter because what we want is before assigning any value we want to execute some logic for this display property and when we use setter on a property we can implement that property like a method so in here i can use a set of parentheses and then a set of curly braces now let's go ahead and let's use this display property on the host element so in this case the host element is this div element on this since i am using this app if directive on this div element i should be able to use any input property of this app if directive right and this display is one input property which is available inside this app if directive and to this we are going to assign a boolean value if that boolean value is true in that case we want to display this host element in the web page that means we want to render this host element in the web page but if that boolean value is false in that case we don't want to render this host element in the web page so in here whatever typescript expression we will write that should return a boolean value for example let's say 10 greater than 5 so this expression it is going to return a boolean value it is going to return true and since it is true we want to render this div element in the web page but if it is false for example if i say 10 less than 5 this expression will return false in that case we don't want to render this div element in the web page okay so to this display property we are going to assign a boolean value and we are going to receive that boolean value as a parameter to this display property so here i am going to call that parameter as condition it is going to be of type boolean now let's write an if else statement so if the condition is true we want to execute some logic otherwise we want to execute some different logic now if the condition is true what do we want to do we want to render the host element 
the view on which we have used the structural directive in the DOM. And where are we storing that view? We are storing it inside this view parameter. And where do we want to render that view? We want to render that view inside this template. So inside the ng template, which will wrap that view. So here, what we can do is we can say this dot template. So this template is going to store a reference of ng template dot. And there is a method called create embed view. So basically what this method will do is it will create and embed the view inside this template. And what do we want to embed there? We want to embed this view. So for that, we can simply say, we can simply pass that view to this method. So we can say this dot view. But if this condition is false, in that case, we don't want to render that view inside this template. Or if it is already there, we want to remove that view from within that template. Right, so here we can say this dot template dot clear. So if the view is already present, it will be removed. But if the view is not present, it will not be rendered. So this clear method will simply remove that view from the DOM if this condition is false. With this, if we save the changes and let me go ahead and let me remove or let me just comment this ng template here. Let's also comment this closing ng template. And for now, let's also go ahead and let's comment this ng template here. Okay. Now here we have an error and it says the string is not assignable to type boolean. And this error we have because we need to use this display property like an attribute directive. So basically, we need to wrap it within square brackets like this. Okay. With this, let's save the changes and let's see if our custom app if directive is working as expected or not. So here currently I'm assigning this expression here, but instead of assigning this expression in the app component class, we have a property called display. I'm going to assign this property of component class to display property of directive class. Initially, this display property of component class is set to false. So initially, this div should not be rendered in the web page. Let's see if that's the case. If we save the changes, if we go to the web page, you will notice that the content in that div is not rendered here in the web page, but that div is somehow rendered. Let's actually see if we have any error. And here we do have some error. And it says no provider for template ref found. And of course, we have this error because we want to use this app if like a structural directive. And we want to use its property, this display property, like a structural directive instead of using it like an attribute directive. But currently, we are using it like an attribute directive. Now, we need to tell Angular that here we are trying to use a structural directive. So we don't need to wrap this display within square brackets like this. Instead, we need to use an asterisk before it. And this will tell Angular that here we are using a property of a structural directive. Okay, so now what Angular will do is behind the scenes, it will wrap this view within ng template and this view will be assigned to this view property, this view parameter and that ng template inside which this view will be wrapped to this template parameter. And now if we go to the web page, we should not have that error. So let the page reload. And now we don't have that error. So that's a good thing. But now we have another error and it says can't bind to display since it is not a known property of div. Now, why do we have this error? Why does Angular is trying to look for this display property on this div and not inside this app if? That's because here, since we are trying to create a structural directive, we need to bind that structural directive itself. And by that, I simply mean that instead of creating a property with a different name, what we can do is we can name this display property same as the selector name of the structural directive. So we can call it app if, 
or we can also provide an alias for it using this input decorator and there we can provide the alias same as the selector name so here instead of providing an alias i will simply use the selector name itself as the property name and now since we don't have any display property now we can simply remove it and we can directly bind this display to app if to the directive name and since it is a structural directive we need to use an asterisk before it okay and now if we go to the web page that error should also be gone so now we don't have any error let me close this console okay so initially this display property is false so that's why this host element this view for that app if directive is not rendered in the web page but when we go ahead and when we click on this plus button the display property will be set to true so for example on this button element if you see i have binded this click event and when the click event will happen we are calling this display terms of services method if i go to app component class there we have this display term of services method and there we are setting this display property to true so when we click on this button the display property will be true and in that case that div will be displayed because in that case here true will be assigned to this app if and when true will be assigned this condition will be true and in that case it is going to embed that view on which we are using the structural directive inside this template but if it is set to false so if i go back and if i refresh the page initially display property is false so when it is false this condition will be false in that case this else condition will be executed and in there we are simply clearing the template we are removing everything from within that template i hope it is clear so in this way we have created our very own custom structural directive similar to ng if now let's also try to use this app if directive on some other element so what i will do is let me go ahead and let me create a paragraph element here and here i will simply say this is a demo paragraph just to test our custom app if directive on other elements so here i am going to test it on this paragraph element so since our app if is a structural directive first we need to use an asterisk we need to specify the name it is app if and to that we can assign some typescript expression and that expression should return a boolean value for example let's say 10 greater than 5 so this expression will return a boolean value true in that case this paragraph will be rendered in the web page if we go to the web page you see that paragraph has been rendered but if we go ahead and we assign this app if with some falsy value for example 10 less than 5 and now if we go to the web page that paragraph should not be rendered okay so let's remove this paragraph all right so in this way we created our very own custom ng if directive so i hope with this lecture now you know how we can create a custom structural directive this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day